Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric and I'm going to show you how to use the Boolean Difference Tool. I'm going to subtract the shape of this cylinder from the shape of this cube. First I'm going to select my cube. Then I'm going to hold my shift button down and select the item that I want to subtract from it. I'm going to go up to my mesh menu, look for Booleans, and click on Difference. At first glance it looks like everything went well, but our geometry is actually messed up. And I'm going to show you that by beveling this inside circle. So I'm going to right click, select edge. And it's just easier to select all these edges on top. Hold my shift button down. Drag across to deselect all the outer edges. Hold my shift button down and so I can deselect these edges on the outside. And now I'm going to go up and click on my bevel icon on my shelf which is under the polygon tab so you've got general curve surfaces and polygon I'm gonna click on bevel and if you don't see it you can go up to your edit mesh and there is a bevel tool so you can click on bevel there and as you can see the whole top of our face is completely gone and it did not bevel like we were wanting it to this time we'll do the same thing with one exception I'm going to add an edge that will intersect the item that I'm subtracting. So I want an edge to go through this cylinder somewhere. So I'm going to hold the shift button down and then right click and select insert edge loop. I'm going to click right there in the center. I'll go back to object mode just by right clicking and selecting object mode. I will select my cube first and then I will shift select the item that I want to subtract from it go up to my mesh menu look for booleans and click on difference again as before I'm going to bevel this inside circle so you can see the difference so I'm going to right click select edge marquee drag across all those top edges shift to deselect all the edges that I don't want then I will bevel. As you can see there's a big difference between having an edge going through the item you're wanting to delete versus not having an edge through the item you want to delete. So when you do Boolean difference make sure you have an edge, at least one edge, going through the item that you're about to subtract. And that concludes the Boolean difference tutorial.